So I got this old vacuum pump here. Uh, I remember when we purchased it. I think it was 1998 or 1999 approximately. And one of our younger techs uh, earlier this summer said it was on his truck. And uh, he brought it back and said, yeah, it's not working. I can't pull, you, you know, below 10,000 microns or whatever it was with it. And, um, you know, at the time we were really busy and I thought, well, let's, you know, go ahead and just grab yourself a new pump. And I thought we could, uh, we're probably just going to pitch this. Uh, it's definitely had a good life. And... I was getting ready to throw it in a dumpster and I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to take it home and I'm going to see what, if there, you know, what the issue is and, and, uh, see if it can be repaired more or less just out of curiosity. And it sat for a couple months and I decided the other day I'm going to take a look at it. Well, here, it turns out it was I think the only issue is he had too much oil in it. Um, the The oil was probably more than three quarter of the way up the the, uh, the the sight glass there. So I thought, well, I'm gonna clean it up, and I sprayed the hell out of it with WD forty, got all the grime off of it, and then I realized, well, this. These, there's oil ports. They, they are not a sealed motor. The bearings are not sealed. So I thought I'm going to put some oil in them. Well, kind of a design flaw, I think, is in order to pull this, uh, to get oil into this port and get the cap off, the dust cap off, you have to pull it apart. And so I did that. And when I pulled it apart, I thought, well, you know, it's interesting that this is the original coupler original Lovejoy in here and it isn't brittle it's still pliable uh nothing nothing wrong with it there's no cracks in it or anything so um like I said it was it looks a lot better now than it did an hour ago they don't make them like they used to this Robin Air brand from my understanding, um, either the, the name was sold, the company was sold to China, or uh, just all the manufacturing went to China. And I believe from, I haven't had personal experience with it, but I think the new Robin Air pumps are some of the cheaper ones you can buy, and you definitely don't get your money's worth. Um, this being over a 20 year old pump and it was when I was doing the installations it was my pump and then it uh went to a couple other guys along the along the time and it it has definitely had some hours on it would be pretty cool if we knew how many hours were on it it would actually be cool if the serial number was not rubbed off because of the way they they stick it on here it's you know when it's right up against something it, it, it's all rubbed away so we don't know for sure what the hours are i know we have two other pumps that are a little bit newer than this and they are uh, the plastic is blue and they're at least four or five years older or i'm sorry four or five years newer when they went to the blue plastic so i think just that red shows the age of this thing um, it does have a couple issues this bolt uh, comes down into the uh, pump part you know into the, uh, the vacuum pump part but the other side of the handle that, that in, it, you know this is all one piece that encloses the electrical there's uh, four screw holes that attach uh, to the motor. And this is cracked all the way across, so that one's ready to go. Well, that one went. Um, you know, so those 
they're shot and the two on the back side are also broken off. So that's unfortunate. Um, but again, I mean, for over 20 years old, what can you, you know, what more can you expect? Um, so I added oil to it, to the motor, which was probably the first time it's ever been done. And I'm going to put it all back together. Unfortunately, I don't have any vacuum pump oil with me uh, today to do a test and see if this thing pumps down properly. Uh, but the other day, after when I drained a little bit of oil out, I put, you know, my finger over it and, you know, it's definitely pumping. I don't think there's a problem with it. I think it was just the fact that there was too much in it. That being said, we just purchased a almost $700 field piece pump that uh, didn't get us through the summer. And that has been shipped off to field piece to when we're awaiting the diagnosis and that's unacceptable I, I wish i knew what this cost i bet you this was probably 200 bucks you know back in the day and uh it was a workhorse and i think it's still gonna be so i'm gonna uh get it put back together and then i'll do a follow-up with uh its performance does it still work? P.S. I was putting this thing together um, and I found a little bracket in my drawer here. And I, uh, so I drilled it out and put the factory screws back into the motor, into that bracket to replace the broken plastic. I cut that plastic off and I fouled it a little bit, drilled two holes in it. And put that together I'm going to put some pop rivets in there this doesn't hold a lot of weight most of the weight is into this bolt um, into the pump side but I did find it was interesting you know this old capacitor again it's the original cap made in the USA that's interesting also we got a melted uh, connector on there, so we might have to make a little little repair. <laughs> 